Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I will be creating some Earth Day nails as today is Earth Day. So as you can see, I am starting off by showing you guys the gel polishes that I'm using. So I am using 228 and 775 from Lady Susie, as well as 14 and 18 from Yushir. And here I am going to start off by just grabbing a mechanical pencil and I am going to be drawing out like a circle, which will be my Earth, I guess you could well obviously it's not gonna be it's gonna be my earth but i'm drawing it out so that way it could be even and so i know to not overdo it on like the shape and i do also want to mention that i did go ahead and apply just white acrylic on um the nails just so i could show you guys so i'm just creating a circle making sure that it is as perfect as i can make it be so that's just really what i'm doing and then i'm just erasing any mistakes that i have and if you're new to my channel, my name is Jess, and I do all types of nail videos, so do not forget to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss a video, and also do not forget to turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload. And I will also be making sure to link down below all the products that I use, so make sure to go check that out so that way you guys can go shop and save money as well with any discount codes that are available. So now after this, I am going to be using my liner brush. This one is from um, a nail boxy mystery bag that I got a while back. So I am going to go in with that blue shade and start just simply just filling in that circle as you can see. And I did use my liner brush because I didn't want to make it too thick. So I didn't want to go in with a really thin layer. So I just went in with the liner brush and then just brushed it on onto the nail. Whenever I'm done doing that, I will be using my mini UV LED lamp from Madame Glam and I will be curing it for 60 seconds as you could see. And as you could see also, um, after this, I will go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Thank you. 
After I'm done doing the other side, as you can see, after it's been curing, after this, I will go ahead and do another layer so that way it could have a really, really nice blue tone to it, as you can see, because it did look a little patchy in some areas. So I did decide to do another coat of it, and I will be doing the same thing to both fingers. And after that is then curing and I did those two top coats. After this, um, I will make sure to like look and check for any imperfections. And then as you could see, after this, I will be going in with my green. So I did decide to add more to my little um, nail palette so that way I can have enough product. But after this, I don't know why, but I decided to erase any of the markings with the eraser. But I mean, it's up to you if you do it or not. I mean, either way, I just kind of did it just so I wouldn't have to go back in and do too much to it. So I did decide to erase it with um, an eraser and it did come off perfectly fine. So after this, I do go ahead and use the Nose by Dev liner brush, which I have been loving. I definitely recommend if you guys are a beginner, um, whatever you guys are, I definitely recommend to get your hands on this brush because I absolutely love it. It is really thin and long and it is perfect for nail art. But as you can see, I'm just making any like green spots, which represent the land, earth, you know, whatever you want to call it. So I'm kind of just doing them. Um, honestly, I'm not doing them in any like specific form. I kind of just did it just so it could look earthy. So that's what I will be doing to both fingers. And I will also be curing it for 60 seconds. <laughs>
so as you can see here i am curing it and after it's done curing this is what my earth looks like and i absolutely fell in love honestly i feel for this was my first time doing it so for my first time i feel like i did really good honestly but here as you can see i will be going in and just adding some white around the earth so i am using back again the no boxy brush and i'm just kind of i guess you could say outlining the earth even though i'm really not but just little any little imperfection that i didn't like i just kind of added white to it but you will see later on that i do go ahead again and actually outline it with my black so i'm kind of just outlining it just because at first i wasn't going to do the black but then last minute i did decide to do it so here as you can see i am using the nose by dev blender brush the baby one the really small one and i started blending it down so that way the gel polish could blend in with the acrylic and then after this i did cure for 60 seconds What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So after it is done curing, as you could see, I am going to be going in with the color 228 from Lady Susie, which is a really pretty brown. And at the bottom, I did decide to write out Earth Day. Um, I thought it was kind of like funny, but weird. I don't know. And I decided to do it brown because obviously, like, if you think about it, like the soil and everything, like all of that, it's like brown. So I did do it at the bottom and that was like my soil or whatever. So I am using the Nose by Dev liner brush yet again and I'm just simply writing out writing out the word earth and you will see that I do go ahead and add two coats of it and I do cure for 60 seconds. So on the pointer finger I decided to write out earth and then on the pinky I decided to write out day and like I said again I will be curing them both for 60 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
After that is done curing as you can see i am going to be going in with my madam glam perfect black and like i said i will be going ahead and outlining it so i'm just adding a quick little dot on my nail palette of the black and i am using my liner brush yet again like i said i am obsessed and i have been really 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 wanting to do some nail art so um i have also been getting asked to do some so as you guys ask you shall receive so as you can see i am just simply outlining it and when i'm doing this i'm not applying too much pressure you do want to make sure that whenever you're doing lines like this especially like with the curve to it like a circle kind of thing i you will see later on that i'm like i struggled to do the middle finger because i just couldn't get that curve it was either too thick or too thin or i overdid it so Type, with stuff like this you really want to take your time with so as you can see i'm just simply just outlining the earth with the black and i am using my nails by dev brush as well as my madame glam a uh, perfect black gel polish and i will make sure to link everything that i use linked down below so that we guys can go check it out
So as I'm doing this, you also want to make sure that you're curing every time you're adding your gel, whenever you're done adding your gel. So as you could see, as I'm finishing doing a line or whatever the case may be, I do make sure to cure it because you do not want to mess it up. So this is how they look like and you know it's not a nail set if we don't add bling. So I did decide to add some bling around the cuticle and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, I should have added some blue crystals instead of brown or even like some green ones I feel like would have been fine too. But definitely comment down below if you guys think I should have changed the crystals or not because I was just really like unsure of what to add so I kind of just went with brown even though I knew I knew I felt deep in my heart that I should have gone with blue or green. But yeah, I just added some uh, bling around the cuticle. I am using my Zule glue. I am using Swarovski crystals in the color Smoked Topaz, as well as a wax pencil, and as well as my activator. And I did go in with the sizes 12, 9, 7, and 5 to the nails. And here I'm just fast forwarding it so that you guys can see what they look like. And then I will be going in with some alcohol and a little wipe just to clean the nails, making sure that there's no residue of that activator and gel, of course. So then after this, after I'm done cleaning them and stuff, you will see here that my little sister hand popped up because she's being nosy. But I am going to be going in with my Madame Glam top coat. And then after this, I will be curing it for 60 seconds. <laughs> This is the final result definitely comment down below how i did and what you guys thought of and also do not forget to check out the description for any discount codes that are available as well as i will be making sure to link down below all the products that i use and also do not forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok that will also be linked down below so make sure to go check that out and do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well as do not forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so that way you can notify every time i upload and this is the final result and i hope that you guys enjoyed definitely comment down below if you guys want to see a vlog coming up and yet again this is the final result and i hope that you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video okay.